Yeah, they they played Winchester and they didn't. They lost to Winchester. They did okay. beat Melrose. Okay. I believe they did beat Stoneham. Nice. So oh, they have they have one loss. Have they two seen loss. Reading or uh, Arlington yet? I don't. I don't believe so. Okay. I didn't see that in the record. Okay. We can we can certainly go look back again. Yeah. All right. So Santulo's right in front of me with uh, Powers on the face off and Scalise on the wing. Mike Gosson all playing D. And it looks like uh, Hayden LaPrade on D as well. All right. Jeremy Barreto in net. We'll try to make sure we get, some names, get every yep. kid, every name as we go through. Co their coach assured me the names would be easy to pronounce. I don't know. I didn't look at the list. Not there, too Matt. bad. Not too bad. Oh, is that a puck thrown out of play by Peter Grace? Uh, yeah, he. you know, like we were talking last time, he'd be in the penalty box like the whole game. He's... If he was pro. They told me that's, that's the rule right. in pro. That's right. That's right. So, yeah. So I'm going to switch up to D, and it's Rowan, Fiji, and Fiji, and uh, Shea Donahue. Theo Martin and Joey out on the ice now. Donahue comes in on a break, feeds it over to Fiji, scores! And a quick goal. You know, that reminds me, honestly, of the other night against Arlington. They came out, we came out really fast and scored, which is different than the previous games where I swear they were sleeping. That's the true, period. that's this true. Reading game and uh, the one before that. Listen, I believe that's Cam Fici's 21st goal of the season. Oh. With a beautiful play by Shea Donahue. And didn't you say something last time? I didn't even know it. Something about in the league right now, that's the top scoring. Um, I think it's the top scoring in the state. It's the top scoring line. He's the top score, scoring player in the state. That's so nice as a... As a so Peter Grace works that back, touches it to Michaud, loses the puck through the neutral zone. Okay. So Jack McElhaney on the wall, I believe. Grace takes that puck down below Griffin. And Peter Grace moves that through the neutral zone. So it takes a serpentine route, fires a puck in on goal. And Barreto's able to glove that. I couldn't even follow that with my... He, he's not supposed to do that, Matt. I can't move <laughs> that fast with my camera. You have to get him slow down. Slow him down a little bit. Go in a little farther. Do you know what I mean? Because the puck goes fast. <laughs> Cafe in on the draw, Johnny Dolan. And Adam Bauer on the wing. Grace rips that puck off the wall where Bauer well, tried that isn't able to handle move, it. Though. Arsenal takes that. He's not able to get it through, but he's able to push it down behind Griffin. Works the puck inside. Griffin's able to kick one out. Nice rebound control to get that puck to back below. And again, Woburn They're working it works that puck back behind. around. Yeah. Danny DeFeo moves that puck through. Another shot gets in on Griffin. Connor Welch is able to pu push that puck, but Grace is able to clean that up. And Dolan's able to dump it down behind Barreto with Cafeo and giving chase. Connor Welch trying to move that puck around. His Belmont's looking to change up to get their first line back out on attack. Kaminsky pushes the puck up the wall. He's stuck by Gaziano. Joey Gaziano calmly takes it down behind Griffin. Wait, put a little works himself up the wall. Quickly through the neutral zone. He's able to gain a little space. Work his way around. Shoots a puck off the side of the net with Donnie, who's able to chase. Back to Theo. Donnie pushes that back to Martin. But Gaziano fires it back in on goal. Fiji for number two. And doggone it, I missed, I missed Joe's feet in. My camera was a little far down, but that was Joe who passed that in. Joey took that off the feet. Yeah, it was, was a able nice to fire in. soccer move. And I know we like to say, stop using the feet so much, but that time it worked. Yeah, I'm but not. I didn't I'm, get it. I, I, I'm fine using it to stop the puck. I don't like the kicking off the shin pads. You can't control it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's a different use. But with 12.35 left in the first, Belmont's up 2-0 over Woburn. Kim Fici with two goals. So I believe that puts him at 21 in the season. We'll get fact checked on that for sure during the period break. We'll get the right number from the family there. We know they're counting them. Yeah. 
Nick Luzzi's able to push that puck down below Griffin, but Gaziano gives chase. Can I ask a question? Have we seen Adrian? Is he here today? Adrian's here. Okay. He was out in the, in the previous shift. Sorry, I just got confused. He's coming out right I... now with uh, All right. with Peter. All right, I just saw Joe out there again. I was like, wait a minute, what happened to our team? Well, you know, Joe... And they're so small in my viewfinder. Joey Guz and, <laughs> and Peter are going to play a little bit longer shifts typically. Okay. We know the amount of ice time they eat up. We're in the draw where Arsenal's able to throw that puck down below. And there's Adrian. Okay, there we go. Battling on the wall there. Pullman now steps in. I was so excited for Adrian last game. He got his first hockey goal. Yeah, that was great. Wubin's able to get a shot in on Griffin. was able to glove it. You know, there wasn't a lot on that shot, but oftentimes those That'll shots, create something. those little knuckle shots, make it a little bit harder for the goalie because you can't time it as easy. You also never know who's actually in front of the goalie, like how much they see, right? That's right. McElhinney pushes that puck down low. I believe that's number nine. Darby Chardon. All right, that might be the one the coach should have given us. Make sure we get that right. Shut in on Powers, or Barreto, excuse me. That was Palmer was able to fire one in. Levin's coming up with some Joey Michaud is right in the doorstep there. Just popped over a stick. Nice play by Gaziano. Moves that puck up to Palmer. He's not able to play it. Bauer comes over the board. Grace with a nice read. He's able to take that in. Looks to work that puck down below Barreto. Bauer covers his spot. They're gonna they're gonna change up spots now. Kafeyan's able to take that puck down low. Fires it in front, but he's not able to connect with Bauer cutting across. Joey Gus kicks another puck, not able to control it. Well, Kafeyan's really working on him, isn't he? Nice job, got Kafeyan battling down low. Mikaminski was able to get a shot in on Griffin, was able to glove it. <laughs> Belmont will answer with their first line coming in. Actually, that might have been Sean Noon out there that time, do you think? Uh, the yeah, it was Sean Noon. It was Sean Noon. 25 Sean Noon. I looked up from my camera. Actually saw something. Fishland is able to push that puck down low. Uma Kaminsky's giving chase. He works the puck back up the wall. Nick Liuzzi's able to backhand it down. Comes back below Griffin where they're trying to push that puck into the front of the net. Little contact in front, net comes off. Wow, he really was just teed up though there, wasn't he, for that shot? What the nice heck happened to that? It was a real nice job down low. He worked his, as well himself right in the right spot. Griff, of course, is not going <laughs> to go down easy. number 20 was it? He's a big body down below. He's able to push that puck through. Fishlin on the faceoff. Okay. With Palmer. Leozzi pushes that puck down. Theo Martin's down there. Was that Theo using his Pushing height? it up. That was Palmer comes high. across. He's able to get a shot off up over the head of Barreto. I think he took his brother out. That seems to happen a lot. Those two run into each other all the time. I thought you were supposed to have some kind of like some, you know, connection, karmic, whatever. Michael and Matthew Palmer are able to push that puck down low. And Misho comes in to get a little help. Theo Martin works his way down the wall. Gets one in on Barreto. Connor Welch able to push that puck up the wall. And Misho's able to put it again down below Barreto. Oh. Jackson Powers takes a really ill-advised penalty, tripping up Palmer in the offensive zone. You know, that actually didn't even Completely unnecessary. So it didn't like even maybe, like, it was almost did he like know he, he, didn't he, was, know he there? was there? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, yeah. right? So Belmont will bring their power play unit in. Fiji, Rowan, Donahue with the big boys on D. Joey Guz and Peter Grace. Rowan's not able to control that face off. It pops up over the head of Gaziano, who gives chase. Joey's going to wind back up around Griffin. He gets you on the sake of Fiji, who comes through with speed. He's able to avoid any contact coming through. Rowan stays high in the slot. Fiji working the puck around. Fiji maintains control. Puck goes off of, that was off a of Matty Rowan's skate, I think. I don't know if it got redirect. off his stick, but it's certainly off his skate. Rowan battles down low. He's able to push it in front, but he's not able to connect with Fiji where he wanted. Wubin's able to fly that puck back down on Griffin, where Grace will pick it up. Nice little baseball catch there by Griff, right? Is that his other sport? I don't know. 
think it's been a few years. Joey Gaziano takes his ice. He's able to work down below the goal. Pushes the puck off the wall to Fiji. Brings it down below Barreto again. He's still got Gaziano. Stays down low. Playing more of a classic umbrella position now. Rowan comes in to fill that bumper spot. O'Donoghue works up the ice. Oh, okay, okay. Grace pushes a puck, hits off a stick. Nice little battle by Scalise down low. But Grace takes, oh, big shot by Fiji. Nice shot by Beretta to fight that off, kind of snuck up on him. And Satulo looks like he pushes that up the wall. But Peter Grace is coming through the neutral zone. Sort of backtracks and winds back up. Oh, sorry. Grace taking his time so they can get a full change on the ice. Bauer was looking to get that puck over to Michaud. Wasn't able to keep control. Nice stick inside by Palmer. He's able to take away any chance that Wolverin has of making a clean entry. Michaud tries to punch that through. Nice stick work by Hayden Laprade. He's able to fight that back down on Griffin. Are we done with that penalty yet? Uh, one second, that's it. Okay. So we're back to full speed for a full... Uh-oh. Uh yeah. Palmer kind of kept by a through. Communication. Misha got hung up a little bit there. Belmont will come out with Cafe in on the draw. Noon and Bauer on the third line. And Peter Grace able to pick that puck up, rifles it off the wall, looking to get that over to Bauer. Luzzi tries to force that puck up the wall to the Fayo. But Fishland's able to take it. He's drives that puck down low, or he's battling with Grace. Noon's finally able to take it off the wall, get a few strides coming out and meet Bauer. I don't know if Bauer lost control. He was trying to push that, pa that puck past uh, Welch. Welch is, a, Welch is a big boy. Yeah. You have to go a long way around. Cafe fires a puck into the open door in Woburn. With 6.28 to go, Belmont leads 2-0 over Woburn. I am supposed to occasionally show us the scoreboard. <laughs> that was my other. Are we at six minutes left? Larry, I hope it's Parise that I'm saying right. Parisi, Parise. Sometimes the shirts get tucked in the backs and I have to look for yes. the arms. Belmont pushes that around where Fichi's gonna look to fire that puck. Another great save by Barreto. Fichi put it off his shoulder. But Joey does, cleans that puck up, gets it back in on Barreto where he's able to tie it up. You know, Barreto's gonna wanna tie up as many pucks as he can. He's not gonna wanna leave pucks bouncing around especially with this well, first line. that's right, because they're, they're getting even better. I think at the beginning of the year, they didn't sort of get in there for those rebounds as much, but I think they've got each other's numbers now, you know? They know when someone's going to shoot. They know when to move in. Rowan wins that faceoff, works it over to Fiji, comes back, works out to Theo Martin, puts it off a shin pad. The movement's going the other way. Santulo brings that puck down, tries to make a play across. Nice. Scalise gets a shot, but Griffin's able to get a pad down on it. Saved by Griff again. Gaziano circles nice back through, does a nice job of working away from traffic. Nice. So has to get some speed. Works his way completely through the neutral zone, gets a shot on Barreto again. He was able to make a glove save. Didn't have a lot of help, he kind of came down on his own. I thought Belmont was looking to change, but Matty Rowan just sat there watching, like he was uh, at the Bruins game as a fan. Oh, I did. He's probably uh, you know, getting get in a little bit. Get in, the, get in the bench there, you're yeah, saying? And I was criticized today by one of the Arlington parents for picking on my own son. Oh, we all do. You so know. if I can't pick on my own kid, what's the point of being here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice battle on the wall by Misho. Did anybody point out, though, Stonehouse never really uh, counters you. <laughs> that's right, that's right. He's supposed to be there as the, oh, come on, Matt. Oh, yeah. uh, big hit by Palmer down low. Another real physical play. And the puck sort of bounces back through, but Peter Grace picks it up. So that's to get ahead of speed. It's so funny because his head of speed doesn't look like other people's head of speed, right? Well, he's very controlled coming through. I just, and I think his size makes it, make it seem like he's not 
going as fast or something. I don't yeah, know. that was a real good look Whoa. by Misho. He stayed up a little high and ended up paying for it. Connor Welsh with a big hit on Misho. He's able to puck back up. Welsh takes that puck, smashes it off the wall, trying to get it to DeFeo, but he's not able to connect. Again, we talk about those breakout passes having to be on the tape, on the stick, right. so the Kenya team can handle it. Welsh got a little too quick on it. Puck pops back out to Goering, tries to throw it back through. DeFeo works it to Connor Welsh, I think they're gonna just let drives that it through, takes the icing, tries to get a full change. I've been looking on the bench. I'm trying to find my buddy Derek Bercari over there. One of the coaches or one of the players? No, he's one of the players. Oh, someone Number that six. played with Maddie in the. Uh, yeah, they played in the Wizards together. His dad, Dom, great guy. He uh, he was a captain of this team. He was a captain of the football team. So he played against Timmy at CM this year in the playoffs. Oh, that's hysterical. Just a, one of my favorite kids to be around. Officials able to push that puck. He gets down behind Griffin. We're down to what? Four minutes. 403 left. Gaziano brings it back up. Rips it off the wall behind Barreto, who comes in and helps clean it up. Probably a little ill-advised when uh so many white shirts around. Cafeyan was sitting on the doorstep and almost took it off his stick. They may not realize how fast Nathan is. You know? With really good hands. Oh, Shea gets it across to so Fiji. Fast. Rips another putt. Barreto makes two big saves on Fiji. Two athletic saves. A nice job by Barreto. Yeah. He was sort of leaning off the post and he was able he was to, able to come back over. get his rear end back down and center himself. Great and job. You as a parent of a of a goalie know a little bit more of the you know, strains and stresses to get from one side to the other. I can't even imagine it. But well, my son's got a little bit bigger backside. He's a lot, a lot easier for him to settle himself. Oh, Rowan funny. takes that puck down low, tries to tuck one off the pad inside, not able to do it. Fichi circles back around. He's able to keep control of the puck, come up the wall. He was trying to hit Donahue, he was not able to do it. Rowan's able to take that puck off the half wall over by the Zamboni door. Gary puts it off escape, but he's not able to, not able to control it. Santulo's able to grab that puck, drive it down below Griffin. Puts one off the side of the net. Shea gets it up to, to Fiji. He's at the end of his shift. Wise idea to put that down low, get some fresh there. legs in. They'd already skated the length of the ice twice. Welch is able to take that puck through the neutral zone. Again, hit Santulo, who's able to put it in on Griffin. And he's looking to battle on the wall with Grace. Has a nice, soft little pass. The two 19s were going at it there. Misha does a nice job controlling the puck. Oh. Puts it on the chest, and then gets finishes up. Barreto again with a nice glove save. Is that Arsenal took Arsenal took that puck, that right shot in right, in the, right oh. in the stomach. Yeah, he was able to stay with Misho. Did a nice job staying in front, but Misho's able to put a puck to his legs. Nice job by Barreto to keep his glove out. Arsenal's able to push that puck back up. There, they controlled the it through the middle nicely that time. He's able to get a shot off, but he's able to keep control of the puck. You know, blind backhand came through to Misho. Misho's able to take it, gain the red line, and push the puck back down below Barreto. And he'll look to get a change. Here comes Wilburn again. Arsenal working his way back through. Does a nice job. Connecting through, but once again, they're throwing blind pass in the middle of the ice. Belmont might not be the team you want to do that with. Gaziano brings it through the blue line. Tries to fire that oh. puck through a couple of sticks. He's not able to connect with Palmer. Theo Martin gives chase. He's able to rip that puck across to Gaziano. Does a nice job keeping it off the glass, not put it in the net. Oh, lots of motion there right at the blue line. <laughs> a, that was a tough one. He had, to, he had him coming back the other way. And his forward motion, it's not like he was going to be able to stop no, though, Kefane, you know? Kefane would have been wise to just let the puck go and bail out. Yeah. Sometimes that's a good off offsides, but he had a lot of space there. So Kefane on the dot. With Fishland. Actually, that's interesting. I did Has Kefayan been doing the center thing all year? Uh, he moved to center earlier in the season. Yeah, yeah he's been playing that spot now in the third line. Okay. The last couple of games. He's oh, done a great job. That's nice. I, for some reason, I was thinking someone else was doing the center thing. Good for him. Offense those own face off. So Belmont with 129 left, up two nothing. Will bring their first line back in. I think Jackson Powers is going to take the face off against Matty Rowan. 
Rose able to push that puck back to Fiji. A nice face off when he's not able to control it. Flips, does a nice job. I think that was Connor Welsh. Does a nice job flipping it up over Garing's head. Grace able to push the puck through to Fiji. Gets it down below Barreto. Belmont's going to come behind with the four check. Okay. Puck gets worked up the wall to Scalisi. He's not able to get, get it out. Welch puts it again. Caught by Fiji. Welch goes for the big hit to try to stop. He's not able to slow him down. Puck works up the wall to Donahue. Takes Fiji's place down low. Donahue circles around. He finds Fiji right in front. Nice play down in front. Yo Santulo made a nice play on Fiji. Oh, nice goal. Jackson Powers is able to take the puck up the ice and rip a shot up over Griffin. I'm not sure if I actually got that puck going in. He, I hadn't gotten all the way right. I saw him shoot it, but oh. it definitely, for those, if I didn't, it went over Griff's left shoulder. I'll tell you, Belmont's first line got a little lazy coming back. Everyone was looking for someone else to make a play there. Worked his way through two or three players and was able to rip a shot up yeah. over Griffin. And Jackson's a good sniper. I mean, I wonder, actually, he probably has a lot of their goals, of the goals that they have. He was well, it, was a great, it was a great shot. It was a, it was a great drive up the ice. You know, that first line has not given up many goals this season. Their plus minus is, is got to be in the 20s. Yeah. Belmont takes a direct offsides. So they're going to come back down in front of Griffin and have a face off. So 2 1 with 19.9 .9 seconds left. The one thing that that will do after the first couple of early goals is it'll wake Belmont back up. Yeah, they can't rest, right? You want to keep They don't want to sleep thinking yeah. that they got to have this game won. Right. You know, it's a cold day. You got to keep moving around. I'm probably talking more for myself than anyone else. Well, Jackson's got it again. Jackson Powell able to circle that puck back through. Put him a little backhand. Okay. And that's going to be the end of the period. There you go. I guess so Belmont came out pretty well. hot. First scored a, oh my scored gosh. a goal in the first, the first minute, right? First minute. Uh, they really sort of slowed down going into the last five minutes. Rowan wins a face off, but Goering has it go right to his legs. So he's down chase down below, down below Griffin. Puck rattles around a little bit, but Grace is able to backhand it up to Fiji. Rips down below Barreto. Barreto had a great first period. I was talking to a few of the uh, Woburn fathers. Okay. And said he's really held them in a lot of games this year. Oh. Big hit down, low, down below Austin by Rowan. LaPrade was trying to come up the wall. He took that big body on. Donahue fires a puck high off Barreto. Goes well over the net. Rowan comes in on a four check. Harassing Powers a little bit. And he's gonna he's gonna take a tripping penalty. Oh, he got a stick wrapped around Powers. I guess that goes back with oh no, he didn't trip Maddie. I don't he think when 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 Powers trips somebody with no. Maddie. You know, I Oh, he called a cross check. Okay, that makes more oh. sense to me. I was going to say, I didn't see a stick down on the ice, so I was okay. wondering how the heck he tripped okay. over him. But, you know, it, it, Maddie does that a lot. When he's finishing on a play, he gives a little bump. And that's And sometimes not okay. with his size, well, he, he and, teeters and over the other player. The other thing, too, you know, some of these players are smart and, and they are experienced and they know if they, they feel that they could add a little bit to that, it'll, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Nice stick by Fiji, knocks that puck out into the net. So Jackson Powers. A fan gets one of the pucks. There on the face off with Fiji. Yeah, there's a lucky fan coming to a Belmont game, picking yeah, up a puck. Nice. Powers able to win that puck. It works its way back to LaPrade. Oh, you know, Arsenal's gonna move that puck around. Fires a shot in off the wall. Nice job by Powers. You know, I can see why Woburn's going to try to isolate Powers, let him try to fight oh, the puck. He's very on creative. He's, he's their own little version of Wasn't a lot of wind up there. Well, that didn't work to, 
to get it out of there. You know, Donnie, he won that face off. He tried to get it over to Peter Grace, put it off a shin pad. He wasn't able to clear it out. He wanted to ice it, and didn't happen. And he's going to chase again. Tries to take that Stay puck down. away from Powers. Yeah, Works down. his way in. Grace does a nice job of using his stick. Also, now works it back down to Powers. Who isn't able to control, and Grace is going to fly this one down. Back to Barreto's able to make a play on it. Oh. Nice play by Fiji. Drives one, and Barreto's able to get his pad out. I think they forgot the scouting report that said he likes to, to score on penalty kills. Powers walks that puck back around. Takes off the off the wall. Flies it back to Arsenal. Get it. This power play unit's been out for a while now for Woburn. The puck goes out of play. Uh, you know, I was asking about Bakari earlier, and I yeah. ran into him. Saw his dad. Uh, hurt his, uh, broke his foot, his ankle in the Thanksgiving Day football game right after I had seen him against CM. Oh. Uh, so he started skating this week. Uh, so hopefully Derek Bakari is able to make it back uh, starting wow. next week and we'll see him when Belmont plays in Woburn. And that's about right, isn't it? Thanksgiving to now. You have to get it six weeks. You got to work back in. You got to, oh, what a bugger. Well, I bet the team's ready to have him back. Oh, I'm sure. Grace flies that puck off the wall. It's able to squirt out. Liuzzi works it back through. He's able to fire it back down. Gaziano's able to split the defenseman with the puck. Barreto's able to touch it so Liuzzi can work the puck back around the wall. Mikaminski works that puck back to Welch. Not sure they know they have a Comer on their tail. Works his way back through. 14 seconds left on the Wolverine power play. That Welch takes nice a puck pass. on the half wall. Well, they Fires went in on Griffin. The top of the blue line. You know, I think Griffin, Griffin and Belmont would love to see that happen all day. They love, love you shooting from the top of the circles. From time to react. Where you can see it. Yep. Seven seconds left on Maddie Rowan's power uh, penalty. So Fichi will take the draw. He wins it back to Gaziano, fires it up the wall. Oh, Uber's not able to handle down. it. Maddie's gonna come over the boards. I think Rache Maddie's Donahue giving that. chase. There's no icing, because Maddie was in the box when they fired that puck down. Donahue's gonna work his forecheck. Oh, that was a timing. Like, Arsenal to tries to push it back around when Maddie Rowan's able to dig in on it, take the puck off the wall. Works it back to Theo Martin. Puts it off a shin pad. It's the second time Theo's done that. He's going to have to move that wing. You don't want to keep firing off a shin pads as a defenseman. Pucks end up going the wrong way real quickly. Donahue moves that puck back around to Rowan. Fires it back to Donahue. Pops back up over Barreto. Rowan circles around. Puts it back to Theo Martin again. Gets it to Joey Gaziano. Pushes it through. He's not on net. Rowan, Don, he tried to make a little backhand play. Isn't able to do it, but Gaziano catches it at the blue line. Rowan able to tip, there was tip, a lot it, of tip it away, but front it there. fires sideways. Doesn't get on net. Gaziano takes it up, starts to pick up speed, coming through the neutral zone. Rips a puck off, Barreto was able to glove that. I'm here. Someone did a nice job. I didn't hear who it was. That's AJ over there. Who is it? AJ. Oh. And Thomas. <laughs> We're here supporting the Goodens. That's it. So Pomer in on the draw. Brother Pomer. I know, I wish I... Puts that off the wall. I, this is one day I wish I was down farther because he's got a big cam face. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. You can see that flying. So Matthew Pomer on the draw. He fed the last one back to Michael, who shot, puck, shot the puck up over the glass. Tipped, obviously. This time, Palmer pushes the puck down below Barreto. Misho looks to get a little pressure in. Palmer comes all the way across the ice and makes, does a nice job. A little bit of stick work there from Woburn. And Palmer took a couple in the cage. Nice job by Jackson Powers. Push that puck back to his D. We're trying to find him again. We find Powers again in the middle of the ice. Oh, takes a shot. Griffin's able to get that off his glove. 
Powers has been really, really active. We've said his name a lot today. Grace is able to pick that puck up down low. Misho stops it coming up the wall. A little bit of action there on the wall. There's, it's sticking over there by that wall. I give them a three. It? It's a pretty credit. That's where that. You see him. You see him up against Peter Grace. Try to battle. Comes up oh. to about Peter's chest, but he was stayed pretty tough on him. Yeah. Pritchett takes that puck. He works it back down to Welch again. Maddie Rowe coming in the forecheck. Puts Look. a body on Welch. Got a nice job to glove it, but he wasn't able to control the puck. Joe showed some Gaziano patience there. Puts it up to Fiji, but he's not able to touch it. Oh, that's what happened. Belmont's going to take an icing. So with 9.18 left in the second, Belmont up 2-1. So a minute uh, a minute ago when they were over there by that Zamboni door, oh my gosh, right? So, so the puck seemed to be stuck in some hole or something. And how many sticks have we lost over there? <laughs> over the year. Oh, I think we've yeah. all spent quite a bit of money working through sticks. I think Sports Etc. probably comes and digs it a little bit each night just to help it a bit. Well, I was over there this morning. Oh, yeah, you were saying. It looks like he's playing okay with that Fiji's stick. Fiji's working, working around, keeps, go, keeps going, puts a puck off of Barreto's chest. He didn't have great control of the puck, but he was able to get it far enough out where Belmo couldn't control it. Also, I was able to backhand that through. Belmo's forecheck, still in the zone. Oh, he really tried picks to get it that over stick to on him. He wasn't able to control it. Ruben might take an icing on this. Yeah. Matty tried to get that over. You could just see he wanted to get that over. He was trying to be cute with his back to the goalie, trying to dump it down and yeah. backhand it in. I'm sure it's one of those things that, you know, in the mind you see the play and it's beautiful, right? And then, <laughs> then all of a sudden there's a Wolverine stick in the yeah, in, in practice it doesn't work out so well. So Michaud's going to take the draw. Up to the right side of Barreto. He's able to win that over to Palmer, but Palmer kind of gets tripped up on his own stick. Oh, we'll burn down that. Grace gives chase coming down with DeFeo working through. They're pumping in the middle of the ice, but Michaud's standing right there. He's able to pick it up. He's got Welch speed. and Michaud battle a little Good bit. for him. But Barreto takes that puck, hands it over to Liuzzi. Michaud does a nice job stepping around. Fires it through. Boy, that was I don't good think Palmer expected that puck to come. Michaud had a nice pass in the middle of the ice. Michaud got a little, uh, Palmer got a little handcuffed on it. Gering just tries to fling it back through. Well, that was a bouncer for sure, though. Mikaminski isn't able to get it on net, but he's able to get it down low. But Peter Grace is able to pull that up. Makes a nice move. Get around Liuzzi. And then a nice soft pass down low. The Puma picks it up. Puma turns and fires. Adrian. Goes through the goal mouth, but it's not able to get anywhere. Puck pops back out into the neutral zone. We're going to see a penalty here. I think well, on Wolverine. I think it's just because they got stuck together, though. I don't know if it was offside. I didn't sides. see what happened. The camera obviously moved off. I guess we'll know in a minute what happened. Not they just have an offside or they call a penalty. Do they call matching penalties? No. I don't know. Someone's going to the box for a cross check. And someone's going to the box for a hit. For roughing. All right. Oh, roughing. You know what that is. So Mikaminski's going to go in the box for a cross check. Met by uh, Michael Palmer's roughing call. Okay. We'll play five on five. Rowan's able to win that face off back to Gaziano, who rips the puck back below Barreto. Shea's there. Whoa. Shea gives chase. Luzzi acts a little bit like a bowling ball smashing into <laughs> Donahue. Does a nice job. Yeah. Nobody, nobody teetered, of course. No. There's a nice little bit of contact. 7.14 left. Belmont still up 2-1 in the second period. Again, Belmont and Powers. You know, Rowan was able to win that face off back. But Fiji wasn't able to hold up his wing. Puck pops up off the glass. 
The Fichi tries to control, but having a hard time finding his puck right now. It's going it's up and down. Whipped down back through. The field Martin takes it from Gaziano. Donahue gloves it, but it gets ripped back into the Belmont end. Where Gaziano takes it. Strong forecheck from Scalise. But he's able to meet Fichi in the neutral zone. Takes his time coming through. Rips the puck. Barreto's able to push that puck around. Nice job. Controlling his rebound. Martin rips it back through. It's right on the chest of Barreto. And they did it. There was no whistle. But they expected him to play it. Then they try to rip that puck up to Powers. Yeah, Powers He's met to by go Peter Gra by his friend Peter Grace. You wouldn't think they were friends by the way that contact occurred. <laughs> Wilbert ends up icing the puck. Oh, I think Peter knew Powers was going to want to go through and decided maybe that wasn't going to happen. You know, it's pretty clear, and I can see why Wilbert's going to try to push this puck to Powers every chance they get. Yes. He brings huge skill, a lot of speed. And he's got that quick. Oh. All right. I'm sorry. He's fish Fishlin on the penalty. Adrian really caught that. Did you see that? Was Bering's able to race up the ice. Brings a lot of speed. Puck gets driven down below Barreto. Doesn't hit the net. But now Bowers, Bowers comes in with a little contact. On Uzi. Does a nice job getting up the ice. Back to Bowers again. Here we go. Let's see if they Carisi can. looks to work that through. Oh. Why not somewhere? Bowers, Bowers fires, fires that into the... Uh, Softball field next to the rink. Okay, I, I really didn't see it all where it went. <laughs> I knew it, he did something, and then either that or he was trying to hit one of the managers next to the bench. <laughs> his <laughs> brothers, his brothers over there. He might have been trying yep. to pay him back. Could have been heckling him. Oh. So Belmont's going to come back out with their first line. Well, they had their second or third. Jackson Powers and Matty Rowan on the on the draw. Scalisi's down below me. Welch looks to fire that puck. Take. It's one of the stanchions. Donahue looks to drive that puck to Rome, but he's not able to, stays on edge. He wasn't able to control it. A little 12 on 12 over there. Stay on Jackson. Uh -oh. Rome just took a stick in the neck and he's gonna fly off. Matty, man, yeah. he's getting banged in these games. Well, if he took, a, took it in the throat. I think Uber's calling for a trip. Powers got tripped on that well, one. Powers, Powers didn't get tripped. He skated. He, he caused that trip. Puck goes out of play. You know, play come down. Powers tried to jump around the wing, which is why there wasn't a tripping call. Ah. It's not a trip when he's trying to jump around. You can't trip yourself. Although, you know, sometimes I swear it seems like the people get called and somehow the other person was like, in the, you know, whatever. I, I'd hate to be a ref. <laughs> yeah. You don't need intent to have a penalty, but yeah. you can't cause it yourself. That makes sense. Peter Grace able to pick that puck up, brings it down below Griffin. He finds Goering. Nice. There we go. A nice pass by Michaud. In the neutral zone. Gary picks the puck up, up, not able to get control of it. Sort of bouncing around off the sticks. Former fires that puck in, tries to find Misho. Joe battling on the wall. Barreto is able to fire that puck back into the corner. Barreto's done a nice job with his rebound control. Gary pretty much handed that puck to Wolverine because he was trying to control it. Fishland, who's out of the box, they play down low. I'm trying to work it back up through him. Oh gosh, Peter! Peter makes a nice bit of physical contact. Yeah, I didn't like that the guy was so backwards to the. I say a nice bit of physical contact because it wasn't a penalty called. And Misho picks that up, works the puck down below. Oh, Booger! Get in, Booger! Just wanted to open something up with that. We're really trying to fight for control. Puck gets flipped back up. Theo Martin chases. He's going to slow change. it down a little bit, see what he's got on the ice. He saw Palmer, but he didn't see... Uh, 
think that you was see Santulo Jackson. standing there. Was, was okay. So Peachy's able to pick it up. Yeah, I can see Maddie Rowan on the far side standing next to the train. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Donnie rips one in. Barreto's able to make a play. Yeah, there you go. Puck that was what back you were up saying. To, what up to Powers. To oh, but he needed to get Dumps go. it in and makes a change. It's right in front of me here. I don't know. Well, fires went in on Griffin because Yano tries to pick it up. Peachy's able to clip that puck down the other way. Wait, icing gets waved off. The oh, Bauer okay. comes in on a four check and Kafein with him. Oh, Joe Yano kept that in. Works to keep that in. Oh, nice turnaround by Shay. I can't follow. Puck gets fired in on Griffin, who holds that up. Mover will take an offensive zone face off with 2.07 left in the second period. Still 2 1 game. Thumb on up. Palmer comes in on the draw. Loses, pushes that puck down low. Grace is fighting with Santulo. They're able to wrap it up around, but Palmer's able to pick it up. Dancing around at the blue line a little bit. Oh, I guess Adrian kept that in. They didn't have to come back. I don't think most of the Wuburn parents felt he kept it in. Welch is able to fire it off the wall. Goering's not able to corral that puck at the blue line. Peter Grace works his way back to pick it up. Sees Michaud, he's able to touch that puck. Allow Belmont to get a change. Wolverine's coming back fast, though. And Belmont's going to have to clear the zone. The minute 10 left. Welch circles the puck back around. Adam Bauer is out on the line now, taking Matty Rowan's place with Peachy and Donahue. Peachy tries to circle, loses an edge. The puck gets back down below Barreto. Bering's not able to keep it in, throws it off a shin pad. Okay, now we got a couple. Well, they had some numbers there. Javadon. I don't I think he expected the puck to come and he ended up jumping offside yeah. with 41 seconds left. Because they definitely had, I mean, we, we were getting back there. Cam was getting back, but they had the number right there. So Fiji's now moved over to center. The move was able to push that puck down below Griffin. And Theoman's able to fight it off. Donahue backhands it off the glass. But they don't keep control. Gaziano picks it up, flies that puck up to Donahue. Didn't have enough on it to try to puck it up again. Belmont tries to kick the puck through. Fiji was trying to kick it instead of using his stick. With 10 seconds left, the puck gets pushed down below Griffin. And Theo Martin giving chase. And Belmont's going to look to just kill it, in the, kill it in the zone to end this second period. Okay. So at the end of two... More or less second period. A little different Belmont than the first. Belmont leads 2-1. Maddie, Maddie Rowan reemerges from the trainer's table. to taking a stick in the throat. It was a stick. Is that what you weren't sure if it was a puck or a stick? Or? I can tell you his younger brother, Michael, had very little sensitivity towards any injury based on my conversation with him. Ruben tries well, to work that puck around there. where Fiji picks it up. Tries to take that through the neutral zone. A little glary from that draw. Able to work that up to Santulo. A real nice play by Peachy coming back through. And Matty Rose able to push that puck down below Barreto. Man, with that door still open over there, they're gonna feel like the professionals out there playing in that like icer winter, winter thing they do, you know? And it's slowly coming down. 
Yeah, you know, the great thing about coming to this rink, Cheryl, is you, you really have an idea of what it's like to climb Mount Everest. <laughs> and you know, well, I know some people have that on their bucket list. That is not on mine. Barreto's able to push that puck back in front of the Uzi. That made me a little Kicks nervous. it through, Joey's not able to that. handle it. It was kind of just in front there. I don't want to say he was trying to kick another puck and it bounced through, but I'm pretty sure he was trying to kick another puck. What Palmer does a nice job of pulling that up. Kind of trips up on himself a little bit. A good no call. Leo's is able to push that puck up the wall. Peter Grace lets Cam Fiji take it. Starts circling around, pulls the puck low. Welch tries to s slow Fiji oh. down. Oh, big hit in the neutral zone by Cam Fiji. Oh. Not really sure what the fans are calling him, asking for a penalty for. That was a pretty square hit. I think they were saying just way to go, Cam. Okay. Did you see someone calling? Maybe it was, they were cheering. I think Grace able to walk that puck in, rips one in the middle. Nice save by Barreto. The puck's oh, able to get cleared. A huge hit down low by Rowan. They were trying to hit him. He just hit back. They call interference on Maddie Rowan. That was weird. I'm not sure. We, we can't replay it. No, we can't replay it. You know, I... I you know, it's tough sometimes. You don't always get to see what the ref is seeing there. But yeah. there's a puck at their feet. They're both battling for a puck from, from Maddie's perspective. I thought the other guy could He's making a big it. physical play. You hope that's not a penalty call just because it was a big hit. Yeah. A big player and a smaller player. Okay, well that's Grace happened. is able to whip that puck down through. As you, as you know, with a lot of penalty kills, you're going to see a lot of Grace, a lot of Gaziano. Yes. Maybe even the whole time. We'll see how that goes. You know, Maddie is one of the top penalty killers. So we're going to get Palmer coming out in that second penalty kill unit. And I think a lot of teams have gotten wise to not letting Fiji get freed up on these penalty kills. Oh. Yeah, the three or four shorthanded goals already. Several of his goals early in the season. Fiji's able to pick that up through the neutral zone. Control that puck, eat up a little bit of time. With the whip that back through. Jackson Powers loses that puck coming through with a little contact by Fiji. Grace is able to drive it back below Barreto. Wow, Powers going for it. He definitely wanted it. Powers takes another big hit down low by Palmer. Palmer made a lot of contact down low there. You know, Powers was skating with his head down there. Well, it is, it, you know, I'm not sure that all teams on the on the penalty kill actually put people up as high as Belmont does. I mean, they yeah. really put the mats up there, right? Yeah, Matthew Palmer really stepped up on powers on that. And so I think that normally you, you have a little space on your power play to... to oops, am I going on down there? I can tell you right now, if the Palmers had a one more, if they were, had a, they were triplets, <laughs> they'd look like the Hanson brothers, the way they play. A little bit of work being done on the Zamboni door. Obviously, a little bit, a little issue on the ice with the ice. The rank guy's probably explaining. You know, there's not much we can do here. Old rank. Yeah, I don't know how much of. Uh, they're maybe going to put some water in there. The edge they're trying to clean up over there. I don't know what happened. So did someone get stuck? Is that what is that what caused their concern maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Maybe the ref got stuck. You know, they sit along the boards there, right? Try to stay out of everybody's way. Push that out of the way. I don't know if maybe the door wasn't coming flush because you know they were working on it earlier the whole time the Zamboni was out they were yeah, working trying to chipping away and using hot water to try to pull that out. They're back over there with the water now. We could get a close-up of the water, guys. I'll tell you, when I, woke up, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be doing commentary on how they get a Zamboni door <laughs> shut. 
But oh, you should have known. It could have been that. It could be, you could be talking about the birds. I haven't seen any today. <laughs> well, they would have froze to death by now. <laughs> Even they're huddled The last somewhere. thing we want to see is them dropping out of the sky. Now, the one upside. And I heard, you know, on the way in, I, the, the Wolverine kids were like, wow, I love this rink. You know that's what they were saying on the way in. They were like, well, oh, I'm so you know, glad to play it, here On a today. day like today, it's great ice to play on. Yep. Yeah, but they're coming in. They know the locker rooms, like, unheated almost. Yep. So we're back to live action. Okay, finally. After door gate. <laughs> here at the skip. They push the puck back up to Powers. Does a nice job working through the neutral zone. Scalise tries to drop that puck back. Fiji's sort of all over it. You know, Powers tries to take the body on Fiji. You know, I'll give, Scal I'll give uh, Powers some credit. Uh, you know, he isn't the biggest body in the world, but he does a nice job on contact. He's a physical he's, player. He's not he looking to knock your head off. He's yeah. just looking to separate you from the puck, right. which is exactly how you teach it. Another huge hit down low by Fiji and Powers. You know, gets the student section all worked up here in Belmont. So he goes, you know, takes that puck around, fires it off the wall. With nine seconds left on the penalty kill. Here they come again. Powers again, tries to step through. You know, he's gonna have to be really careful. They are putting a body on him every time he comes up the middle. He's gonna have to try to push that puck off, get a feed back. Yeah. Puck ends up right out in front of Griffin. Nice job by Gaziano. He's able to tie up Mojkaminski down low. The penalty time is over. Go. Here, Luzzi takes a shot in front. It looks like it went off of Kaminsky's stick, went up over the head of Griffin and out of play. With 10.15 left, with Belmont up 2-1, Uber will have an offensive zone face-off. Fishlin along the draw. Getting some late movement by Mikaminski. Nice job by Palmer to win that. They're really fighting back there on the board. A lot of fight down low by Goring with Palmer assisting. Puck comes back off the wall where Liuzzi is able to push it down low. McCominsky's down there battling now with Grace. Is that the 19s again? DeFeo steps back in. Nice job by Grace, uses skate. And he's going to want to clear himself out of there so he doesn't get himself a penalty. He was just watching. That was good. Uben looks to clear the zone. Nice work by Garing. Get the puck up the wall to Palmer. Palmer takes his time and circles back through. Tries to get a little tricky. Oh. McElhaney oh, pushes through. Grace able to pick that puck up behind Griffin. Gets on his skate, circles back. Tries to push that puck up the wall to Goring. Go. Goring sort of sidesteps it. But Misho's able to take it and drive that puck back through Loretto. Belmont's going to finally come out and answer with their first line. Huh. Rowan's able to keep control of that puck, try to work his way through. Gets a stick lifted. And Maddie's going to take another, another, another penalty for interference. Maddie wasn't hit. Maddie Rose not happy with that penalty, but I'll be honest with you, it's interference all day. He's not playing the puck, he's just playing the playing the body on a puck that's farther away. And that's that's gonna be called interference? Uh, that one I that one was a good call. That, I mean that's interference all day. Okay. The, the earlier okay. call I didn't I didn't so I didn't understand that call, but that one okay. he just took the body on a player that wasn't even near the puck. You know, the Got puck it. was there, it squirted away, hit the wall. Uh-huh. Interesting. And it's not like he of just kind of... Of course the fans were, were refuting the call, but that's what fans do, you know? Yeah, and he didn't just bump him, you know? I mean, yeah. man, he's a big kid. He knows how to hit. But, you know, when you lift a player up off the ice on a play like that, right in front of the referee, you're going to take that penalty call every time, so... Quite frankly, man, he's got to smarten up a little bit because it was an unnecessary play. Maybe, he should have just been battling for the puck. Maybe this game will have a little... Peter Maddie 
tete-a-tete -tete -tete again, but going in the other direction. He helped calm Peter and Curtis down in that, in that Arlington game. Maybe Peter can say something in this one. So Wu was able to push that puck down below Griffin, hits a stanchion in front, takes an awkward bounce. Oh. Again, we're going to see a lot of Griffin and Grace over the next two minutes with 8.15 left. The Fiji's able to fire that puck down low behind well, Barreto. Some good work on Joe's part, though, really getting it up to Cam. Oh, Shay, it was like slow motion. You know, I know Powers is a great play. You see him with a lot of speed there at skating, but he's, he's got to be real careful coming his out of his own zone when he's the own, his own guy and he doesn't have speed. Yeah. It's just tough when you're trying to do it all yourself, you know? It, it puts a lot of pressure. Let's the D, and the, actually in the offense, you know, pee up on you. Okay, Levin came in with some speed. Nice there. rip of a shot. Arsenal's able to fire one in on Griffin. Puck ends up on the wall. There's a nice job controlling that rebound. Wolver's working the puck back in front. Ooh. Puck went up over Griffin's head. I don't know if it didn't get on net. Grace able to fire it back down on Barreto. You know, as a coach, I don't like the way Barreto's stopping those pucks coming through. I know he's got nobody around him, but he's kind of coming down lazy with his glove and his stick. It's a little scary when his legs are open. Yeah. It takes a weird bounce, he's in trouble. But what year is he? Do they, do they have year on there? Uh, do we know if he's a freshman or a sophomore? Does that have that uh, information? I think that he's definitely not a, he's a junior. He's a junior? He's a junior. Okay. So the puck popped up over Griffin's head. Mm -hmm. So Fichi comes in on the faceoff, still killing a penalty. Matty Rowan's second interference penalty of the game. Oh, he couldn't get the clock running or something? Clock might be frozen. Oh. Boy, everything's happening today, you know? We can... So seven minutes left, We'll get you down seconds. here for your people who are watching. Our Woburn fans, maybe our youngest fan at the rink today. She's holding in well. well you wouldn't think at a brand new rink like this they'd have so many problems. Now the clock, the time's <laughs> off the clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back with seven minutes left. With 12 seconds left on the penalty to Maddie Rowan. The ill-advised... And yes, I'm being extra critical of his penalty. Fiji tries to weave his way through. Welch does a nice job of keeping his stick in between. Fiji. Yes. The penalty's up. Oh, that was Bauer comes up over the boards. Smart on uh, Joe's part not to whack it down, seeing the penalty was being finished. Peter Grace able to drive that in on Barreto as Belmont clears the zone. Yep. Yeah, no one down there for the rebound. Nice, a really nice job by oh. Donahue on that on the four check. Grace again fires one in Barreto. They're like playing. He's not touch. able to keep it off the glove. Uber was trying to get through with speed, but they took a little too long. A big hit on Palmer. By Connor Welsh, game starting to pick up, get a little more physical. I don't know. After a few big hits. I think his brother. And Wolverine's going to take an interference call now. That was interesting. I think that and this might brother Palmer went down and laid a body on the, the person that laid the body on. This may be as much about the referees trying to take control of this game, make sure it doesn't get out of hand. You didn't quite see the interference on that one. I didn't see. I didn't see the call. I think he said that same thing. Cross check or interference? I don't know which one. They'll they'll say it though, right? I'll take a second to show our score. Yeah, I saw. I saw him left. come up. I saw him come up with the interference call. Two. So now you have Fiji, Palmer, and Donahue out on the power play. Oh, Matty Rowan scoots over the boards. So whatever. I don't know. For whatever reason, he was sitting on the bench. He's been released. I would have sat him down, too, after a second stupid penalty. But but he's back. who am I to judge? Well, that's good. Then they, they, <laughs> they like this uh, lineup with him <laughs> taking the center. So 
Do we have a light pop on? Yeah, apparently the fans are getting eager. Dropped a puck. Puck works back from Rowan to Grace. But Gaziano takes it, looks for a little hole coming through. Nice, really nice job again by Barreto. There was a lot of traffic in front, and he was able to fight that puck off. It got on him quick. See, and Wilburn doesn't get down there and bug so him. Chaverdon takes that penalty. Fici's able to reach out and take control of that puck. Comes around with Barreto with speed. Passes it to himself, basically. Still has the right? puck on his stick. Oh, it's too tricky. Fichi tried to get a little too cute on that. Fichi takes it. Fichi takes it in his own end. Just to wind it back up. Flips it over to Gaziano, who fires the puck down below Barreto. Right, get the shot though. Ruben went to clear that out and put it off of Power's body. The puck gets fired up. The Donahue gets a little battle going. Powers tucks it again back. Gaziano picks it up. With 53 seconds left in the penalty. Gaziano works it to the outside. Gains well, momentum into the zone. Wilburn's done a really nice job of breaking up the, the flow of Belmont on this penalty. Powerful. You know, they're going to look to isolate Fiji or Rowan on the far side. Rowan's there, but he's a little too far behind the net to keep control. Works it back up to Fiji. He pumps it back over to Rowan. A nice crisp play. Fiji fires off of Barreto. Pucks bounce around in front, but no one's able to keep control. And Woolward's able to clear. I'll tell you, Barreto has really kept him in this game. So a lot of pucks sneak up on him, and he's been able to stay high and on top of the crease. Grace weaving around now. Does a nice job bringing the puck below Barreto. Ruben gives him a little space to circle. Gaziano again kicks that puck down low. They give up control. The penalty is over. Ruben's not going to be able to push that through. Well, this is there right at the end. Yeah, Trevor Doe came out of the box, made a nice play in the forecheck, but yeah. he was too deep in the zone. Yeah, Ruben was able to carry that puck in while he's in there. So Belmont will fortunately be able to take a penalty outside the zone. Oh, we got two D that don't usually play together. Comer on the draw. So Garang puts a puck off the wall where Pomer's able to push it out. Hard, Grant kicks another puck, but he's able to kind of work it through. Gets a nice little bit of meat, pushing that puck through. And Barreto's able to eat that up. And Belmont's not going to be able to switch it up. Grace is able to come out on top. Top of the zone. But Maddie Rowan will... Someone didn't get off. There we go. Fiji tries to fight that puck. It's tipped in front and ends up over Barreto's head. There There's a bird, bird, Cheryl. You see your first one of the first one of the day. They're excited. The girls are here. Powers takes that puck, pushes it down low. Does it has a nice little bit of contact down low against Donahue. Puck ends up out front on the stick of Santulo. Just a poorly played puck down below Griffin. And once again, Belmont pays for mishandling the puck. They found that same sort of over the left hand area that from before. They're just getting sloppy with pucks. They're trying to kick too many pucks. Puck pops out in front. Belmont really hasn't pushed the pace of play since the first period. They're sort of sitting back and letting it come to them. Yeah. And it came. Rowan tries to push it through. Gaziano takes it to the neutral zone. The woman's able to clean that puck up. 
Belmont overplays their forecheck a little bit. But Belmont's gonna take another penalty. It had to be a tripping call. Yeah, clearly. So to Matthew Palmer. Yep. So Belmont will go back on the penalty kill with 2.16 left in a 2-2 game. Belmont's really hit sort of a wall tonight. But today, after that first period, they got up 2 nothing. They really have not yeah. I mean, you gotta give pushed the to, play. To Wilburn, you know, they kind of got it together. I think they were a little stunned right at first. They're making a, a much better passes out. Remember, at the beginning, you were like, gosh, they're not really getting it out up into the, into the neutral zone well. They, they've improved that. So, you know, and they're getting it over, like you said, to their scoring forwards. The Belmont defensemen have got to be cleaner with, with pucks down low. They can't play games. They got to work, puck up, work pucks up the wall. Stop trying to kick pucks. Use your stick. Make hard plays around and be able to recover and get back out in front. Right. You know, you kick a puck. Now you're off balance. It makes a bad bounce. And all of a sudden, they're standing in front with a puck and two that defensemen that behind the goalie. Yeah. You know, you put Griffin in a terrible position. You know, when that puck's on the far wall and you kick it around or it bounces off because you're not playing it clean, Griffin now has to circle all the way to the other side, pick up where the puck is, and then yeah, try to get out and make a play, right? He's down low on a post and now he's gonna try to get up top. It's a really hard play for a goalie. And it's a, you don't want to put your teammates in that situation. So hope it get back to their fundamentals here and and we have two minutes left. It's 2-2. Two, two. I know Coach Foley has a lot of faith in his team. He's got a lot of faith in this line. You remember in the Watertown game, didn't pull his goalie. Right. When they were down a goal because he had a lot of faith in his team. But now they're going to have to kill a penalty with 2.16 left. That's different. Left. That was what's happened in the, in the Watertown game for sure. Then you let a team hang around, hang around, hang around. And they have the kind of firepower that Woburn has. You can put yourself in a really bad spot. Come on. Woburn slowly with Powers trying to work it around. Powers ends up hitting the deck from Grace. Powers takes it back behind the net again. Taking his time. A little battle on the wall there with Powers and Grace. Oh. Puck sort of squirts out. Grace has to pick himself up. Wow, great glove save by Griff. A nice shot through by Arsenal. Griffin was able to see it. There wasn't a lot of traffic in front. Shea Donahue took a bad angle on that play. Instead of coming down straight up the middle, try to play the body, try to play the wall side. Arsenal spun right off of him. Oh, now we got another Looks like we're going to have a timeout on Woburn this time. Okay. You know, that plays it in the hands of Belmont because Fiji and Donahue, Grace, and Gaziana had been out there the whole penalty kill, right? So they'd already been out there 50 seconds and they were all out on a shift. Or at least Peter was. Yeah. So you're giving them a chance to recover. But I also think it, you know, they want their first line out there too. So they're thinking about they want yeah, their guys absolutely. to recover too. Yeah, absolutely. They you just want, have to say, okay, we're all going to recover. You want the you want Arsenal, you want Powers, you want them to be able to be able to rest a little. Yeah. Because those kids have had a lot of ice time as well. Right. So I just noticed. I mean, basically, Wolverine's on the power play here until the last what, 15 minutes of the game. Right? Yep. You can see Laprade is out there. Scalise, captain, is out there. Santulo, who has a goal, has the second goal for Wolverine, is out on the power play. And this is a dangerous situation for Belmont. Totally. You know, they haven't been able to, they haven't been able to clear the, the puck right. in the first minute. They've right. been able to keep the play outside. And you know, the longer someone's in, in your zone, the more the chances of shots getting taken. Yeah, the longer you leave, the longer you leave powers out there, the more chance of something bad happening. Right. At least for Belmont, right? Nice stick okay. by Grace. That was offside. Because the other one's going to battle down on Arsenal as he works his way through. 
Nice save by Griffin. Puck on the outside. But again, down to 38 seconds power's penalty. real shifty coming down low. He's able to rip a shot. He's on the, you know, he's a lefty, so he's in a bad spot to try to pull that puck around Griffin. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well, we definitely won that face off. Powers and Maybe Fichi ran into each other. Gaziano's able to throw the puck down on Barreto with 39 seconds left. 22 seconds left on the power play. Puck gets worked back up to Santulo. Not able to keep control. Grace fires it off the glass. They're able to work it out. Fichi's able to push the puck down below Arsenal, but he's not able to. Arsenal does a nice job of biting him up. With 20 seconds left. Three in the penalty. That'll be about the end of the power play. Rowan's able to kick a puck away. Powers tried to beat him. Maddie's so long, he's able to use that long stick. We're going to feature you. Fires it in. It scores. Belmont scores with eight seconds left. On a beautiful play by Maddie Rowan coming in on the forecheck. Well, and that, that line works together so well, right? Wow, what a big chain turn of events. You know, Every single player. We, we talked about it before. Powers trying to come out of the zone. He's got to be real careful when he's the last guy. Maddie's so long, he was able to make a great play with his stick, get control of the puck. Powers was going the wrong way. He had to turn, come back around. He fires it back to Fiji. And Siri, Donahue was able to. Was it Donahue? So well Did Donahue score that? Or, oh, Palmer. Because, oh, Palmer. Oh, are you sure? I think we'll get the call now. Grace. Okay. Grace able to push the puck off the glass, get stuck in the stanchion with 3.2 seconds left, and that's going to do it. Wow, what a great, you know, that's a great win on a great play down low by Belmont. What a crazy Honestly, win. Wolverine deserved better in that game. You know, and let's be honest, your best player Little thing trying, to do, trying to do the right thing. Right. He gets caught. Uh, yep. But honestly, and Jackson. And you have to say, he's been out there for three minutes at that point, too. You know what I mean? Jackson Powers had a fantastic yeah. game. I hate seeing that happen to him at the end because of how well he played. He really controlled the play when he was out on the ice. Right. And I was, you know, honestly, a really great job by Jackson Powers. Sorry to see that happen. Um, but, it's a, a, you know, a great comeback. Well, it's not a comeback win from Belmont, but, you know, it was a game that they didn't play their best. They didn't They didn't work as hard throughout the whole game. So for them to come back and pick up that it's late goal, uh, yeah. you know, great, a great win. Great win.